story so far, I've used this glitter glue, mixed it with about a third of PVA glue to thin it out a bit, and I've applied it to the roof and to the floor tiles just to give it a bit of shimmer. And I've also used all purpose clear glue, little half triangles on the windows, and just peppered, sprinkled some glitter over it like pepper. So what you do is you get your very light filler, not the all-purpose filler which is heavier and not the grouting compound and you mix it in with a bit of water and just a tiny bit of white glitter, don't use other types of glitters because it just looks dirty and you want it to be like whipped egg white, which it is. I'm going to put it on the top of the doll's house to make it look like snow. So far I've just taken a spoonful of this and I'm going to spoon it over the top. It's just like icing a cake really. And then I'm going to just give it a bit of texture. See how we go from there. So I've applied the lightweight filler to which I added a bit of water and said it was like stiff egg whites and white glitter, not silver glitter because that makes it look dirty. And I spooned it on, tried sponging it on, but I found the only thing that really worked to get a snowy effect was to use a very stiff dry paintbrush and to drag it. Then also did use a bit of sort of stippling effect here. Of course there was a bit on the brush and sort of stippled it here over there, let it get up on the wall and it's got the effect that I wanted which is like melting snow but I kept looking at it and thinking that doesn't look right and I reasoned the reason why was because it's not glossy enough, it looks very matte so I used this test stick and put some satin varnish on it, that's satin water based varnish and that gave me a not, it's satin, it's glossy I would say and that was exactly the effect that I wanted so that's what I'm going to do with this house just to give it the snowy sheen. This is the finished result I've added another two coats of filler and glitter the middle coat had a little bit of blue glitter mixed in just to give it a bit more depth and I followed that with two coats of a clear satin acrylic varnish just to give it that wet glossiness that you get on snow. So in close up, you'll see using that dry brush to drag the snow makes it look as if the snow was really melting down. And that stippling again looks like snow that's just blown up onto the building and it's just stuck there. Particularly pleased with the way Dolloping the snow on top of all of those posts worked because it really looks as if there's just been a snowfall overnight and in the morning light it has melted. That's the far side of the doll's house. And I think that glitter on the windows really does look like frosting. So this is the back of the doll's house again with that drag snow effect. So to have a look at the inside you'd have to go up these steps here through this door and into the main room through into the bedroom and if you wanted to use the lavatory had to go all the way through here, down there, down through the door, through those doors, through the garage, into the room where all the plants are overwintering. No wonder Eden left. So if you have a tab and slot doll's house kit, why not make it into a winter wonderland scene? It's going to be unique, it's going to be interesting and it's going to look absolutely beautiful.